In the Sermon on the Mount, in Matthew chapter 5, Jesus says that he's not come to set aside the law of the prophets. He's not come to loose them, destroy them, abolish them, but he's come to fulfill them. So on the one hand, we want to be careful when we talk about the Ten Commandments that we don't make it sound like the opposite of what Jesus said. You know, the Ten Commandments, they're not important anymore. We kind of X out big parts of the Mosaic Covenant because that's not our covenant any longer. That's precisely what Jesus is arguing against. He didn't come to say, you know what, forget about that, it doesn't matter. But he did fulfill it. So there is something on the other side of the cross and the incarnation that transforms our understanding of the Ten Commandments. It's instructive for us when we see Jesus, uh, the rich young ruler, comes to him and wants to know about what he must do to, to be a good person, to inherit eternal life. And Jesus starts talking about obeying the commandments. And he goes to the second table of the law and honor father and mother and do not murder and do not commit adultery. And he conveniently, intentionally leaves out, do not covet, because he's sort of laying a trap for the man to get at his heart because he knows that he's in love with his possessions. But it's instructive for us that when Jesus has to reach for a convenient summary of obedience to God, he goes to the Ten Commandments. We can see similar things from the Apostle Paul. So we certainly don't want to set aside the Ten Commandments uh, when Jesus didn't set them aside, and yet he fulfilled them. I like the analogy many people have used uh, of a piece of music that you, you transpose something to a different key. So it's the same melody that you're playing, same piece of music, but now on the other side of the incarnation, it's transposed and there's a, a different key to it. And so each of the Ten Commandments are in effect and each of them now finds a, a fuller fulfillment in Christ. So they don't become less than what they were, but now with the advent of Christ, they become much more in how we fulfill them and how we obey them.